is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from the 22nd Annual South Florida Renaissance Fair. Come along with me and we will have some fun. Hello and huzzah from the Florida Renaissance Festival.
Thank you kindly, welcome to the Ramon Sailor Show. Oh, hey there. I'm Rosie, the Sailor's Jenkins. And we're the Ramon Sailor's. And this is our show. Welcome to it. the South Florida Renaissance Festival. And how long have you been doing the fair? Too many years for me to recall. And what do you enjoy about it? I have always enjoyed wearing fine clothing. I am garbed in the most exquisite gown even now as we speak. This is my new gown. And one of the things you do here is you spread love and joy. I do indeed. I have here some free love that I give. A person may put it on their per themselves, they may wear it, and show the world their love. And um, to, to people who are watching this, why should they come out to this event? It's a chance to escape the real world. It's a chance to see fine music, entertainment, amusement, all sorts of things, and to play dress up. Last question. 
What is your favorite part? What is your favorite act or event at the fair? Me. I like me. Excellent. I also enjoy petting the horses. Not the joust there are horses, and when they're not jousting and not being groomed and prepped before or after, I get to pet the horses. Oh, well, that's really nice. Thank you very much. You're ever so welcome. And you have a lovely day. Indeed. Ah, uh, sing a song. This one's a favorite on both sides of the President's Day, this is Pirate Weekend. He's wearing a Abraham Lincoln with an eye patch with crossed swords. That's yes! So you, you planned that for like a week, didn't you? Social studies teacher. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> What's going on there? More water, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And you. You're right, it is more than water. Cappuccino. <laughs> oh, yeah. In Fairhaven Town, there is a place, oh, Cappuccino, where they pour coffee in your face. Oh, Cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Oh, it's brown on the bottom and it's foamy on the top. 
Cappuccino. I don't want you to start, you'll never stop. Oh, Cappuccino. Oh, it brings the roses to your cheeks. Oh, Cappuccino. And you'll be buzzed for weeks and weeks. Oh, Cappuccino. Cappuccino in our mugs look a lot like Guinness. Oh, Cappuccino. So it might be hard for the casual observer to tell which we're pouring in us. Oh, Cappuccino. So when you come to a rambling sailor show, Oh, Cappuccino. Please bring us a Cappuccino. Oh, Cappuccino. For me, Guinness. Because we accept coffee and little tips. Hello. My name is Tim Rosa. I'm with Fellowship Foundry Peter Smith. We've been in business for 38 years. I've been with the company for some time now. Everything here is all handmade, our own designs, They're made by us. You have some beautiful things. Thank you so much. We have some very silly things also. For instance, that's a lot of work for a really terrible joke. Look with the cat dragon. <laughs> if you just, if you just peruse, if you just cursorily walk by, you would miss a lot. The detail, we pay attention to that. Here's another. That's a Krakenstein for when you're cracking a cold one. <laughs> there's, there's more. I'm coming out. New limited edition piece. The Steam Dragon. I like this. It's the most complex goblet we've made to date. Yes. And look, it's free legal. It has a tail light. <laughs> well, there's more to see. By the way, all of our glass is virtually indestructible, but it's also guaranteed. If anything should happen, we'll replace it. Guaranteed to be destructible. They're guaranteed that you shouldn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your favorite part? Actually, my very favorite part is interaction with people. And it, I love creating. I love the work. It's grueling. A lot of people think that it's, it must be nice that you only have to work on weekends. Were that true, would be beautiful. Sometimes I get a Tuesday off, but it's all worthwhile when look at the smiles on the faces. Yes, indeed. When we can do that, then we're doing our job. This wasn't court order either. <laughs> I chose this lifestyle, and I have tried on a number of occasions to retire, but I found that the real world isn't well suited for me, and well, I'm not well suited for the real world. This is what I do, and somehow ends up defining me, and that that's a sad, sad thing. <laughs> <laughs> In a little town called Belfast, a friend of the trade I found was many an hour of happiness. I spent in that little town. Till the bad news fortune came over me that caused me to stray from the land. Far away from my friends and relations, to follow the black belt man. Yeah. 
knocked him to the floor. They ripped him twice behind the ears and once upon the head. Oh, but when they got back on his back, they found out he was dead. All oh, then Mrs. Murphy started in and took battling with the cops. She licked every one of them and chased them several blocks. Oh, We stopped on the way at the old Red Door Saloon. We went in there at nine o'clock and we didn't get out till noon. Ah, then someone asked, Don't bid again if anyone had died. Louis says, I'm not quite sure. I just came for the ride. We finally reached the churchyard on in a very straight line. Not but when we got there, sure, we found we'd left the corpse behind. Oh, and that's how they showed True story. Every other word is true. Good old Paddy.